assassin uh the bradley assassin twitch channel live um <clears throat> we stream here mtg arena all sorts of casual ranked everything um also every monday at 3 p.m central we do free magic the gathering card giveaways so make sure to come hop in our twitch channel give us a follow and uh enter for your chance to win completely free magic cards um shipped to you completely free absolutely no risk uh, we also have the Bradley Assassin Facebook page where any likes and follows would be greatly appreciated and the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel where uh, any subscribes would be greatly appreciated. So without further ado, as advertised, I am going to um, give the uh, Premier Draft Icoria Layer of Behemoth Draft another shot. So we're just going to get right into it. Uh, let's see here and make sure everything's right looks like I have uh, another ticket entry uh, So we're going to use that to enter Oh look we got a uh, King Caesar ancient guardian uh, Cosmetic which I don't even know what the card is because this is all still very very new to me I've only played this one other time haven't had a bunch of time to uh, devote to learning the set But no problem. This is a good way to uh, <clears throat> get familiar with some of the cards as well as obtain some of the cards on Arena. Those of you that follow me know that I've been uh, working on these stream settings for over a month now. Um, it seems uh, every time I lower the uh, bit rate, it seems to stream a little bit better. Um, I don't want to go too low with it and have problems, but, um, oh, look, uh, the band card. Great. So I can't even play it, right? Weird. Okay. Um, that's nice. Humans. The three, four flyer. Should we try humans? Let's try humans. Oh, really? You can? Shit, I didn't know that. Sorry. <laughs> like I said, I am uh, very new to this. Whenever a token creature you control dies, put the top two cards of the library to the graveyard, then return a creature card with lesser converted mana cost. Uh, sorry if I'd have seen you in chat, man. I'd have, I'd have definitely uh, listen to what you had to say. I just have to look over to my second computer. And I didn't catch it in time. Um, so I guess we can focus on humans. Uh, three damage start creature. That's pretty good. This is nice too. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Crap. Well, yeah, I'm definitely not too good at this. Another Death's Oasis. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, let's focus now. Um, another human. Okay, look, there you go. That's a cat. Whenever this creature mutates, other creatures you control get plus X plus X to end the turn, where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. That's pretty good. Let's take that so I can get used to playing with this mutate mechanic. <clears throat> Still completely lost with all that 
Um, that's pretty nice too. Let's try. Let's try and go humans here. Oh, another one. Oh no, I thought it was a human. Let's see. Two, two. If it's blocking, it gets counters. That's nice. Uh, I think I like that. There's another tap target creature. There's an exile. This is nice too. Well, that can uh, <clears throat> that can get fun. It's okay. Cool. Look at this. Three of those guys. Yeah, I'm re I'm I'm cons regretting that uh not getting that uh blue-ray guy. I thought I couldn't play it. Oh well. We'll see what we can do with these. Try and get these humans going. Okay, um, so far I'm white. Let's just get that to get it off the waters of cycling here though. I'd rather not run into that green thing. Okay, um, maybe we can just play green. A nightmare squirrel. Whee! Flying or first strike. That's kind of nice. I and mean, you got a 3 1 cat. Mm. Uh, this, uh, what did it give me? The boar. Alright, start cutting on your time a little bit, huh? Uh, if I was spent to cast a spell, search library for a card, put that card into your graveyard. Return up to two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. That's awesome. Mm. Let's just take it so I don't make another rare mistake. Okay, what's this do? Companion, your starting deck contains only cards with odd converted mana costs and land cards. If a source you control with odd, or it will do the damage to a primary deal, so with that damage. I guess I'll just take that and see if I can fi figure out how to do that, but I don't think that's gonna work. Thing looks crazy though. Does Fang Mentor enter the battlefield? Put a life link counter on target non human creature you control. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature. Wow. That's nice. That's nice. Um, I think we have to take this. It looks like we're running into the three colors here they have exuberant wolf boar wolf bear attacks you may change the base power and toughness of target human you control to exuberant. what 
Yes, please. Even if we end up not being able to play that. A three mana for a three three. When you cycle Splendor Mare, put a life link on. Man, that's pretty nice. Three mana for a three three. That's nice. Uh, man, that's pretty cool. Um, Shot target. I think I'm gonna do this. Ooh, another one of these. Uh, so now the human thing is really looking good. Uh, cats. We have any more humans? This is cool. Uh, wow. What? You may have this creature assigned. Wow. Um. Maybe this dude. Another one of the little cat dudes. Uh. Yeah, let's 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 go. The white green with it, maybe black. Get a little cat going right here. Uh, it's pretty cool. That's cool. Okay. There's the three six cycler. Oh no, that's nice. Didn't even notice that earlier. We got a lot of those. Okay. Let's see if we can boost our deck any. Doesn't look like it. Destroy target non land permanent if it's a creature. Or if what? Oh, kind of worded funny. Space Godzilla ball. Beasts. I guess I'm gonna take that. I'm not too confident in it. Look at this thing. Man, that's awesome. I don't know if I'd be able to cast it though. Whoa, we saw that? Um, return up to two target creature cards with a total cost of three or less from your graveyard in the battlefield. That's nice. Um, might have to go with that. This deck's really all over the place, guys. What's this? Each player chooses an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker from among the non-land permanents they control. Then sacrifices the rest. No. Human rogue, black black. Spells with flash, you cast cost one less, can't be countered. Search your library for a card named Whisper Squad, but oh, that doesn't help me a whole lot, does it? Pacifism strong. It's a human.
That's nice. And we're gonna keep with the human theme right here. Um, cats and cats. There's a lot of cats in this set too, huh? One forward vigilance cat. Now I like the offensive side. Another cat. And that's nice. Two four. That four defense. We're gonna go offensive. Afro Ninja, what's up, baby? Been a while. Let's see. Uh. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um. Mammoths destroy target enchantment. Uh, do we want another one of those? I guess so, huh? Um, I already have one of those. I don't think two in a 40 card deck would be very smart. Let's just take this out of there. I'd rather not face it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Although I should have been getting some more of those scorpions with with the graveyard return stuff I have. Mm. Did don't feel very confident about this draft. There's a little cat. Uh, let's just take that. Uh, memory leak. Uh, I guess we're taking a memory leak right here. Um, another little cat, and then this thing. Okay, yeah, not too, not too strong. I think I messed up right off jump. Um, let's see here. We just move everything that we know we're not playing. It wasn't a whole bunch. We we drafted well. I see this thing would be great to play, but um, two black and three colorless. Your starting deck contains only cards with odd converted mana costs. I mean, can we pull that off? Um, I guess we can try. Let's see. Let's try and pull that off. Okay, so let's take out, um, let's take this out, let's take this out, so all my twos I wouldn't be able to play, right? Let's see if this is even possible. Uh, where did they all go? So if I keep all the threes and then all the fours, where are they going? I thought normally that's your sideboard. So let's see here. Ones, threes are uh, humans, 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 humans. I don't even know if this would work guys. I might be cutting myself short. Oh, I see it's got companion filtering now. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I have enough creatures. Set of being cool. So let's do it this way. Um, we're gonna keep the cats. Uh, maybe the scorpion, I don't know yet. Uh, how much time do I have to build this? I'm not, I'm not liking those yet. Um, let's sort this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I, I gotta put that in. Shit. Uh, where's my humans?
I like this. I like this. Not sure about the human assassin. I like this. Uh, I like this. Maybe that. Uh, this is a human. If I'm playing those three colors. Not sure about that death oasis. Okay, so what I have right now, two of the cats. Uh, this herbalist. This, this, okay, and then three of those. And then the, you've got some humans in here. Maybe take out the memory leak. Maybe one of those. Uh, creatures you control that's okay it's a little big that's too many monstrous steps so let's go back and put a couple cats that's still too many monstrous steps okay so am I missing any humans just the assassin which I don't like his mechanic oh this is nice wait we gotta get the boar in there, so let's take out a um maybe this this would be cool to get back in there, I think. We gotta get our lands right okay uh lands let's see uh something real quick let's look at the deck stats mostly white with a touch of green and black okay so planes hey man where's my pretty planes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven planes with uh well, let's go ten um or nine and green ten, eleven, twelve, let's see nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We might have to take one of these away and add another green. No, let's leave the white. It looks like mostly white we got, right? Uh, I think we can try this. Man, getting that second green is going to be tough. Let's take one white out and add one green. Okay, finally. Thanks everyone for being patient. See if we can get anything done with this. I have no knowledge I've done this once before didn't haven't had a lot of time lately to research the uh, the set itself so this is gonna be a little awkward is this me Okay, 
Uh, let's see what we're looking at here. Terrible. We got a cat. Uh, I'm gonna have to keep it though. Got four lands. I mean, I might be able to pull out this. Destroy target non land permanent if it's a creature. Uh, sanctuary. Okay, well, that's better, but not great. It's a pretty strong card. That's the guy that drafted my, uh, that little thing I passed on, probably. Uh oh. Okay, so, uh,. what happens here man this thing right here is going to end up I might have to save this for it wow that's pretty cool okay so um what do I want to do I'd much rather put the counters on it, but I can kill it with this. Okay, what you got, uh, phase dolphin? When thieving otter deals, wow, that's nice. Okay, um, okay, uh, I might have to. I really would like to get that down, but I need a way to, uh, why is he good gaming me? He drew his lorry or whatever it's called. That's some pretty art. Hmm. Another phase dolphin. So I can't block it. I can block this. And then we can uh put some counters on it. He's gonna draw a card. Alright, things coming, huh? Okay. So we got a five three. three okay yeah that's common that little otter is gonna piss me off but I need to keep them the netheroy for that 8-8 eight eight. although the the car draw might be hurting me more
That's nice. I can destroy a permanent. Okay, so got this. I should probably kill this now. Kill that thing. Attack. Next turn, we can Night Squad Commando. He's got a lot going on. But we got him somehow. I'm not sure what happened there. So that was interesting. I don't know why he quit. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not going to concern myself with it. I didn't think he was in that bad of a spot. Well, we won one. So I'm already in better position than I was last time I attempted this. It definitely wasn't from the strength of the build. I just, I'm not sure what he had going on over there. Okay, let's see, two lands. Uh, It's risky, but I'm gonna keep it because of the nat naturalist. Um, No guarantee he's gonna live though. One more draw would be nice. Okay, and then we got this right here. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to play my land, buddy. That's nice. Lands are nice. Okay, Emperor Chichulu. Oh, look, he's got one too. Yeah, man, that's a very nice card. That, that's gonna see a lot of play. Uh, I wish I'd have seen that before. Um, we have to play this in hopes that it survives a turn. That's very nice. I mean, very nice. That's going to be a staple for a long time, I think. Well, I'd like to draw a land. What is he have going on over there? Okay, 
these dolphins. Very nice. Okay, well I missed my land, so that's not good. Um Probably should get this out. White. Uh, white. Hold on. White, white, green. What the fuck's going on here? A white and two colorless. Play it. Oh, that's not even what I wanted to play. <laughs> Why wouldn't it let me play this? Weird. Uh oh. Cool. Talk about broken. Okay, uh, so I can mutate this whenever this creature mutates. Other creatures you control get XX until end of turn where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. Cast with mutate. Okay, why can't I cast with mutate? <sighs> oh, because it costs... No, it costs three. So why can't I do it? White, green, green. Why can't I do it? Anyone know? I'm having trouble with this mechanic here. Ugh. <sighs> Whenever this creature mutates, other creatures you control. You can't mutate on humans? I mean, I just lost a turn because of that. Where does it say that? Target non-human. God damn. I just lost a turn because of that. I have... This is... Ugh. Very frustrating when you do that. I had a, lost an entire turn. It's probably cost me the game, I'm sure. I should probably just concede. Yeah, it says on there, non-humans. I didn't even know that. <sighs> so frustrating. I had a good hand too. So frustrating. Stupid. Oh no, it's my fault. I, I, I'm. Uh, this is only the second time ever playing with uh, any of the mutate um, mechanics in this set in general. So uh, I'm just uh, kind of terrible at it right now. Um, prior to Akoria coming out, I was decently competitive and standard, but I need. A, uh, I don't have as much time as I once did, so I'm trying to learn these cards on the fly and uh, not too good. Like I had, a, I had a great hand. That missing that turn is just terrible.
He's gonna make something so big. <sighs> Very frustrating. Put on the cat though. That's a big flyer. That's cool. Yeah, this game, uh, terrible. Yeah, it's, uh, it's confusing to say the least and Playing it on Arena is a learning curve too. Yeah, I don't mind dying this dude because of this, what, what I did. Um, I can't do nothing about the flyer, right? So I'm dead. I can tap him, tap a flyer. Um, maybe I should get some more humans out, huh? I cast that. I'm, am I gonna leave myself enough mana to do it? Uh, that'd be one, two, and two humans. Yeah. I need to leave myself enough mana. I mean, he's just completely uh, dominating me with Discord. At least I can stop him from attacking. Hey man. Hey, hey, hey. Why I didn't get... Why I didn't get a chance to respond to that? Nah, man. Uh, I, th I thought I was supposed to get a chance to respond to that. Man, th this either I'm missing something or they, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm just completely out of the loop. I need to get back into it, man. I've been focusing on my giveaways. And it uh, looks like I'm missing some uh, play knowledge here. That's pretty bad. Maybe you need to be... Yeah, I guess. But it seems like... It seems like they would prompt you for that, you know? Especially when I had something on the board. That I could have that I could have done with... Oh, you know what? Maybe because I didn't have the, the the mana available. I mean, I had it. I had it available with the uh, the little creature. I don't know. Very confusing. Okay, so this is a decent hand. I'm just gonna uh, have to go back and figure that one out later. Focus a little bit on this right here. This is a pretty good hand. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, uh, that's good for me. We're gonna go this. Got a cat out. Meow. I'd like to get the commando one. Oh, that'd be cool. 2-2 two, two. yeah let's uh play this and then attack let's 
Let's see what he wants to do. Okay, um, should I kill that off with that? I was gonna do the night squad commando, but I was able to work that as a removal. So I think if the opportunity was there, that was probably a decent move. Maybe not. I don't know if that was the right play or not. Probably not. Now that I think about it, it's just a 2-2. Two -two. Getting the commando on board would have been stronger. I mean, I still had this, but I still do have this. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's strong. Sacrifice another grid. So 2-4. Uh, I can remove the 2-4 and start beating on him. I think I'll do that. Um, and then start going in, maybe. I'm sure the pros would have played that differently because that 2 2 wasn't a big threat. Depends on the physical challenge. If you get the 3 1, it's good. I'll change the 3 1 just because it's 3 1. Yeah, I, I should have just traded. Being that I had another one in hand. Um, because the commando's still in my hand, and that's terrible. It, 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 that's two turns that could have been out. Yeah, if I lose, I think it's my fault. I, like I said, I, this, I'm very, very new to this set, and also I've been out of magic for quite a while. I've been back a couple months now. I'm not saying I don't know what I'm doing, but um, as far as playing with the newer cards... Uh, I don't have the knowledge of, of what to anticipate that he's carrying, you know, so it make it makes a difference in what I'm playing um, Okay, so if I attack there's no way he's gonna block now um, So if okay, so this time I need to attack There's no way he's gonna block unless he's got a thing so then I can I can command him now and save a tooth, I think, or should I officer so I can tap something? Probably officer. Yeah, officer. Now, um, A little plus one plus one to human enchantment, so it'd be nice right now. I've got two of them in the in the deck, and I do have this guy. So getting him out might have been priority to the night squad commando, huh? I don't know. Ugh. That's big. At least I can tap it. So that officer is looking strong now. Okay, so um, I think I should tap it to get some damage in. Because uh, I can take three if he decides to attack next turn. So uh, let's tap this. Um, doesn't matter what I drop this turn. So uh, next, let's just swing with everything. And then probably get the sergeant out. So that my humans will get pumped up next turn. If, if we make it that far. Yeah, I, I'm at 20 life. I, oh lord. What's this dude? Man, that'd have been nice in my deck. Wow, that'd have been super awesome in my deck. Ugh. Well, too bad he tapped it. That'd be too powerful if it didn't. Like an icy. Okay. If I don't remove something on his side, it's I can't get through all that. 
I can tap this. Can he sacrifice himself? Sacrifice? Yeah, he can. Wow. Okay. So, ooh, look at this. Ooh. Okay. So he's gonna have to sacrifice his two guys. Does he have the mana to do it? Yes. Okay. So if a monstrous step, he's gonna have to sack both these guys to survive it, right? Um. Uh, and then up to one other target. Just so. It, so if we do this, I'm assuming he's going to do that and then it's going to... Uh, I don't want to mess this up. So if I cast this, he's going to have to sack these two to kill the one that is going on. It's a sorcery, so I have to do it now. We're going to put it on... this and then uh, one other creature right and then one other creature has to block we'll, we'll pick that and see what he does see so I'm thinking he's gonna have to sack his two dudes to kill it if he wants to um shit the only problem is i don't have enough mana to tap something but that's okay because he, he'd be forced to block it if he doesn't kill it so let's see what he decides to do and i put it on that because i don't want to lose the guy that pumps my humans I, I don't see him sacking both those dudes to kill it even though he oh he didn't he didn't he chose not to okay so he can still do this now so um, I think I'm gonna have swing away and then he's gonna be forced to do it in response after blocking and they won't deal any damage so i'm just swinging away see what happens see he's gonna do it now probably no he's gonna want to block first he's gonna want to block first right Uh oh, I wasn't expecting that. Not sure what's going on here. How did he even get that out? He didn't have four mana. I'm not sure what's going on here. He didn't have four mana. He had two available and a third one from this. So I'm lost. Yeah, but I thought I saw he had two untapped lands because I was looking to make sure he had enough to do that. So I don't know. Maybe it was just a bad play. I'm I'm out the loop, baby. I'm out the loop. We got him at three. <laughs> okay, but see, I saw three also, the two lands and the dude, but that black thing costs four to cast. So I'm not sure where that came from. I just missed it. Okay, so if I swing away, no, I can't. That sucks. Um, That sucks. Just cast both my cats, that's all I can do. So 
So I don't know where he got four mana from. I really don't. So if I swing away, he's going to be forced. He's got three blockers. One, two, three, four, five. Two can get through. That's lethal. If he has nothing to do. You know what? It's just a game. I'll take a chance. It's just a game, baby. If he's if he's got some kind of flash or removal or whatever. Boy, I can't play around it the whole night. Yep. Of course. And then he just killed off my board. So that's probably game. Couldn't play around it all night though. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I got outplayed right there, I think. Okay, but we still got one more one more game. Let's see if we can maybe shape up our uh, some of those mistakes and, and pull something out. Yeah, definitely no. Uh, I need I need to start really focusing and practicing uh, with these new cards so I can. Uh, know what to anticipate that that's the biggest problem when a new set comes out with me like uh like right there if i if if you know knowing what, how much mana he has untapped and the possibility he has that particular removal he used ought to play differently but in this case we just we just swing it for fences right here which is okay it's still fun doing it this way brings back the uh the old lore of uh OG magic, not knowing what what's going on, <laughs> just just playing and hope for the best. Man, I really like those little uh, naturalists. So, oh look, what's this? That's cool. No, I'm not blocking that. Uh, so three mana. What we got? This dude, the lockdown. That dude would probably be relevant right now. A little one two wouldn't be bad right now either, but I think this dude's to play. Yeah, the little the little one three uh, tap humans, man, that's awesome. Uh oh, that's pretty freaking nice. Whoa, that's nice. <laughs> Golly, did not class right here. Um, so we got some humans, uh, and then, uh, well, that's going to get big fast. So uh, okay. Might as well attack with this because, uh, Man, crap. This doesn't look good for me either. That's that's uh that's super strong in, in a, a draft format. Being able to make a flyer and then put counters on him. <laughs> so strong. Even if I had this out, I wouldn't have been able to use it this turn. Man, that's crazy, actually. And what is this dude doing? Yeah, see, this guy knows what he's doing. Look at this thing. <laughs> I can't block it, can I? 
Why is it even asking me? Oh, because of this? Oh, no. No loss. <laughs> yeah, I'll class again, bro. Okay, uh... uh... All I can do is this... I mean, that's a definite. Uh, and then I can put a tiger because I can't use his ability yet. So, might as well just do this. Um, now... Tap two, I, know, I might as well attack this time. Because I don't have the mana to activate this. I'm not going to be blocking anything. Okay, well, okay, so I can uh, oh, start to get into this decision making here. If I let him go, I can still only tap one no matter what I do right here. Um... But if I, I might have to let him go tap his flyer on his turn. And then uh, during my turn, I can tap something else and try and go in for some damage, I guess. Fly. When thieving, okay. So see, I think right now, I think I have to tap this, right? Okay, now. So if I swing, I can bring two back, right? But man, if we're getting into some territory where there's just too many creatures. Okay, I think I need a swing. With these three. What's in my graveyard now? A, a human and a non-human. Let's bring him back to the battlefield. Total converted mana cost. No. So I need to be able to tap that thing, right? Um, so I have to end my turn. Okay. Okay. 
He just tapped out. Oh no, he was casting another one. I thought he was using his ability. Okay, so now... Now I can... Force him... Force him to block again. Kill off something. Bring it back. Okay. Now I can bring it back. Okay, so they get Menace and Death Touch, is that right? Okay, and then I need to leave two mana up for this dudes, and I only have three available, so that's it for now. Well, it, it's total casting cost of three or less. Total converted mana cost, so I can only do one, I think, at a time. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure it reads up to two target creatures with total conver converted mana cost three or less, and their total converted mana cost would have been four. Oh, crap. What was that? Okay, man, he's starting to pull ahead again. Um, okay, so I still need to leave two. This thing has double strike. See, now it's starting to get ugly. Uh, the only thing I could do is drop a cat and then block it. Mm -mm. I need enough defense to survive the three, initial three. So I have to do this. Shit. I can cast this and kill that. And have enough to, uh, to tap that thing. I think. <sighs> Too much thinking here. See, he, he can kill it with the double striker. But if he swing, yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Okay, so. That's seven if I put it on him and I can assign combat damage though it wasn't blocked. Does that mean I hit him for that much? Yeah, I think so. I think I can win right here. Let's tap this. One attacker. Plus two, plus two. <sighs> Saw that? I feel my heart's racing. Like that was like that mattered. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Thanks, man. I I don't know. I just I I need to refine my play skills. Like. I, I feel like I, I could have done much better that game, even though I pulled it out, but I, I don't think it was from my my clever gaming skills. I think I just ended up with what I needed. Well, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. We're getting close to affiliate, I mean, uh, applying for affiliate. 
Um, I'm sure you've noticed the chat bot letting you know to hop in on Mondays at 3 p.m. Central for free magic cards. Um, so uh, we're at 30 followers now. At affiliate, we're going to have a bonus giveaway, something a little bit nicer. Um, but you should check it out, man. It's 30 minutes of your time, completely free magic cards. I ship them to you, everything. Pretty fun stuff. Um, it still doesn't help my gameplay, <laughs> but we got to get it. Uh, okay, Sanctuary Lockdown. This is not a good hand. I think I'm going to have to mulligan this. It just had no creatures. This is better. And then uh, I got to put something up. Four mana. I think I can lose a forest right here. <laughs> oh. Okay, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. See you next time. Thanks for hopping in. Cool. I do have... Oh, there's my spell chaser. <laughs> there it is. Sure, that's coming out right now. Okay, three mana, uh, still can't do nothing. Uh, we're gonna attack though. What's this? Whenever you cycle a card, okay. The mama set ball. The mama set. First strike, that sucks. It's really my only play right here. That sucks. I gotta try, I gotta try. Here comes some trickery. That don't bother me at all. Counting flowers on the wall, that don't bother me at all. Playing solitaire till dawn with a deck of 51. Smoking cigarettes and watching Captain Kangaroo, now don't tell me there's nothing to do. Uh, Common spells, huh? Good job, buddy. Can't play none of that. I think that's it. I think. I mean, I can get some of this back, but. If I pull a black. If I pull a black tea, which of course I did not, so good game. Okay, well we won two games this time. Kind of challenging, but uh, much better showing than last time. Uh, what we got out of this? So okay, look, let's claim our prize: two packs and two hundred fifty. Okay. So what we're gonna do as a little bonus for everyone that stuck around through that uh, that torture, we are going to go and open our packs for you. So let's get right to the Akoria packs. Oh, I had one from last tournament. So here we go, but let's see what we get, everyone. 
Um, a thieving otter, very good card. Uh, okay. Glamour Bell, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Then the Pouncing Shore Shark. Five mana. Okay. And then the rare is Crystalline Giant. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose a kind of counter at random that Crystalline Giant doesn't have on it from flying or from everything pretty much. Cool. That's cool. Okay, let's open the next pack. Whoosh. Okay, uh, exile target creature. Nice. The little scorpion seeing a lot of play right now. Um... Okay, uh, right, common. Okay, Jubilant Skybond there. Creatures you control with flying have spells your opponents. Spells your opponents cast. The target is crawl. That's pretty cool. Got a couple of those out. A couple of flyers out. It's gonna be hard to kill that thing. Uh, when Nisite Mentor enters the battlefield, put a Vigilance counter on a non human you control. You put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature. Jeez. Oh, look at that. The uh, a triple land. Cool. All right. Last pack, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, see, I think the two four for three mana is nice. Uh, this thing just killed me. Uh, one there was okay. Um, a three three for three mana. Whenever this creature mutates, create a three three green beast creature token that's nice but the mutates big on it uh when this creature mutates tap it to the okay and then the rare ladies and gentlemen oh a mythic wow some nice packs chevelle 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 bane of monsters two mana for a one three death touch okay at the beginning of your upkeep if your opponents control no permanents with bounty counters on them Put a bounty counter on target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Okay. Whenever a permanent permanent and opponent controls with a bounty counter on it dies. Wow, that is nice. Some good packs, man. So that worked out pretty well. Uh, so for everyone that stuck around and made it through my torture play, I had some pack openings for you guys. So that's it for today. I appreciate everyone that uh that stopped in and uh took the time out of their day to to watch me uh, attempt this draft a Korea draft um please remember i am the bradley assassin this is the bradley assassin twitch channel any follows would be greatly appreciated don't forget every monday at 3 p.m central we have a free magic gathering card giveaway you just have to come hop in our twitch channel that runs live from 3 p.m central to 3 30 p.m central where you can uh, enter the contest for a chance at some completely free magic cards um we also have a uh, Bradley Assassin Facebook page where any likes and follows would be greatly appreciated. And lastly, a Bradley Assassin YouTube channel where any subscribes would be greatly appreciated. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks everyone and we will see everybody next time.